I'm so excited. When I heard about uh, them releasing a 20th anniversary of Hybrid 3, I had to get it, you know. Right. Oh snap, look at that. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Man, this is so exciting. So let me just open this up. Okay, I'll go in order. We've got the classic hybrid theory. Here's what the inside looks like. I think it just shows the uh, producer, executive producer, you know, just the members of the band. Really basic stuff. I believe this is just the lyrics. I believe it's just a uh, classic black vinyl. It's on, uh, it's pretty staticky, so it's kind of hard to get it out, but I'm gonna be replacing these with uh, better inner sleeves. What's cool about this one is you could see the 20th anniversary logo there. Uh, it's on the other side as well. And um, I don't know, is this 180? It's It's got some weight to it, but I don't think it's 180. Maybe it is. It's got some good weight to it, so it's pretty sturdy. Hopefully it's not warped. Um, I'll check that later and let you guys know. These are the inner sleeves that I use right now. It's the Invest in Vinyl. Uh, so I'm gonna be putting that in this. Cause this could damage the uh, record. Cause it's just paper. There's nothing inside that's protecting the record, so I highly suggest you to replace it when you can. So my favorite track probably is, uh, that's tough. I can't choose a favorite track out of this album because there's so many good ones, but I do like uh, Paper Cut, One Step Closer. I think Chester really liked that song. Um, he loved playing that live. I love um, A Place For My Head with you, crawling of course, in the end, yeah. Pushing me away, it's a great song too. So yeah, I mean, they're all killer, so. If you haven't listened to it, or you haven't listened to it a while, go back to it and listen to it, it's really good. So excited to spin this and listen to it. It's gonna be very nostalgic. Next one, reanimation. This album is great, my goodness. I remember the first time listening to this album. I was kind of skeptical at first because, you know, you know, Remix is a, it's a hit and miss, so, um, I didn't really have high hopes for it, but then when I heard it, it, it was amazing. I think my favorite, let me think. So my favorite track out of this reanimation album is probably um, A Place For My Head. Oh man, I really like Pushing Me Away too, and With You is really great, and Crawling, of course. This version is really cool too, the build-up is awesome. I mean, this album is a classic. So check it out if you haven't, you probably have. Go re-listen to it. Here's the, uh, the artwork inside. Pretty cool, right? I always wanted to get reanimation, but couldn't find it at a record store. I mean, there were deals, but then once this, you know, 20th anniversary came out, I'm like, oh man, I gotta get the 20th anniversary version. This one also comes with this like paper inner sleeve, which I don't really like, but it's really staticky. Let's get it out. Jeez. All right, there we go. So this is the same, you know, design as the, uh, you know, hybrid theory. But it doesn't show the uh, tracks on the, the label. It comes with this. Just kind of says who they thank and um, who it was produced by. Just everybody in the band and uh, who wrote the songs. Here's disc two. It's Linkin Park, 20th anniversary, reanimation. 
standard black. There's a little bit of scratch. I don't think it's deep enough for it to affect the audio, so it should be okay. It's these inner paper sleeves, man. I think that's what scratched them. No to paper sleeves, guys. So the last LP is the B-side rarities. So I have no idea what was on here. I just wanted it because, you know, it looked awesome and it was like limited edition. And it looks like there are live versions of um, songs like In The End, Paper Cut. And there's a rock mix of One Step Closer, uh, a 1999 demo of Step Up. And so it's just a mix of, um, I guess, uh, live performances and some uh, demos. Here's the track listing. I don't know if the camera could catch it, but. This is gonna be fun to listen to. I am just, I haven't heard of it before, so it's gonna be exciting. So it comes with this paper, like the other LPs. Um, just lists the tracks, and so this just states like the, uh, the track listing. It might be fun to read while you're listening. Here it is. I can't wait to listen to this, it's so awesome. Gotta clean these and get them spinning. I'll let you guys know how I think of it. I did want to get the higher uh, Linkin Park um, anniversary. You know, there's like a higher tier. They offered uh, the Hybrid Theory LP, which I really wanted, but it just it was 200 bucks. And I wanted this one as well. So I was like, ah, what I think they should have added the uh, Hybrid Theory LP onto this, um, you know, uh, vinyl box. They should have added one more, which was the hybrid LP, and then instead of, what, $60, they should have priced it at like, what, $80. And then I think a lot of people would buy it and appreciate it. I'm happy with this, and uh, I'm gonna go listen to it now, so. So this video was just to unbox this Linkin Park uh, 20th anniversary final box, but I also wanna show you guys what I got um, besides this. Um, because this is uh, Records with Ken, and this is episode two, and I wanted to show you guys what I have, or what I got a few weeks back. So, first one is Angels and Airwaves, I Empire. This is the SRC vinyl. I believe it's the Orange Haze, and uh, I got it through eBay. I know these go, these go for a pretty hefty price. You know, you gotta pay a lot to, uh, get one of these but I lucked out and someone was selling it for 45 I know people are reselling it for around like 60 or 70 so C and D side but uh, that's what it looks like pretty cool right so yeah this sounds really good and i um, really happy that I have this I'm looking for you know love part one and love part two and uh, I might get the other uh, vinyls as well, but for now I have the We Don't Need to Whisper in clear vinyl and now I have the I Empire in an orange haze vinyl. So very happy with that. The next one is the Death Cab for Cutie uh, Transatlanticism. And this is the uh, first or the original press because uh, it was pressed by the uh, Sonic Boom recordings company here you can see i got this for a pretty good price um got it for 25 and uh i know it goes for around 50 dollars i believe but i feel happy that i have an actual copy now because these are kind of hard to find and my favorite track off this album is probably um uh, well right now it's title and registration so if you haven't listened to this album check it out so that's it for episode two and um, hoping to get more records to share with you guys. So if you guys have any um, recommendations of bands to listen to or any records that you like that I should get, anything, just leave it in the comments and I'll check it out. So I'm gonna go listen to this, so see you guys next time.